Zach Wilson's making his return for the Jets. Of those three teams, Giants, Jets, Bears, which team has the best long-term outlook, Key? I really, I really like what the Giants are doing. Mm-hmm. I do. And I know you hate Gettleman. He ruined the franchise. But, but I love these guys. But there's some pieces there. There's some stuff there. And the stuff that's there, you can identify. And they've done that. There, there's some pieces that's there. I think I like the coach. I like Joe Shane. I just like that. I like Joe Douglas. I still have my reservations about Robert Sala as a head coach in his staff. I have my reservations about the quarterback that I can't evaluate. Aren't you scared that he's taking a receipt on what you just said? He has no, receipts. No, I don't. Why he didn't I, intimidate you with the receipts? I would, and he can bring them to me, and I'll exchange something for him. Mm-hmm. I'll exchange. If he turns it around, he can bring the receipts to Keisha, Joseph Keyshawn Johnson, and I will exchange. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I have a policy. I'm willing to exchange. Yes, refunds, full refund, refund. Yeah. full refund. Yeah, yeah. You're the greatest coach ever if that's yeah, the case. If that's what happens, yeah. It, not a problem. And then as far as the Bears go, there's, it's still out. They're a lot like the Giants, evaluation period. It's not really an evaluation period for the Jets, in my opinion. Hmm. But the Giants and the Bears, yeah. it's evaluation. I think the Bears get a pass. Ibrahim Lewis, Ryan Pohl, first year. We'll see what they're doing. Don't they don't have anything. a lot to work with, nothing at all other than you know, Montgomery and Justin Fields. I'm with it. the The Brian Dable for the Giants is probably my answer. And there was a, a, a situation that occurred in the Dallas game, and it's the way he handled it in the press, Max. Hmm. It was it was Giants. It was like fourth and, fourth and four. They went for it. They got it. They could have challenged it, right? But I guess Brian Dable got word – from up top that they got the first down, don't yeah. do it. And the reporter tried to corner him in the post-game presser. Like, well, you should have challenged it, blah, blah. And the way he handled it, like, just thinking about Robert Sala and the way, granted, different strokes are different folks, but the way he is with the media. This is where the Giants were positioned in such a way where he makes the immediate tackle and you think, oh, maybe he got him, but no. And also yeah. coming off Joe Judge and a lot of the uncertainty I heard in press conferences, right, how matter of a fact Brian Dable was, but it wasn't, wasn't disrespectful. Like, you don't know the game. It was like, it was very simple. Well, I connected with up top. They told me he got the first down. We decided to move on. We focused on the next play. It was so easy. I was like, oh, somebody that knows how to navigate mm. this space and can answer and not be cornered and, and literally take the cheese, as you and I always well, talk that's about. That's an interesting take. I'm with you guys. I think it's the Giants. But I don't think it's because they have great pieces or anything. I think... Football, the reason I'm so shocked about the Brady Belichick thing, you know, not to bring it back to that, but I always just assumed in football, number one person in the organization is the coach. You got to get the coach right. That's number, if you have a great coach, you can make lemonade out of lemons, right? That's why I always thought I was more Belichick than Brady. He's the coach and the GM, right? So what, what did the Giants do? Which coaching tree, which, which franchise tree did they take from to plant their seed? They went to Buffalo. Now let's look what's happening in Buffalo. Did Buffalo have the first pick in the draft? No. They identified a guy that made a lot of sense for their climate, for their playing, cold weather. They identified a guy with a lot of raw tools that no one was sure that guy's going to work out, but they liked what they saw. They believed they could coach him up. They drafted him. They coached him up year over year. He got better. They brought in the right pieces to put him in the right situation, Mm -hmm. and now they are an NFL powerhouse. That is the right kind of thing, the way that franchise was organized and developed, and that is the seed that the Giants have planted to me with Shane and Dayball, at least on paper, and I like the early returns. That's why I think the Giants, forget about the pieces they have now. Going forward, I trust those dudes more than I trust the Jets, more than I trust Eberflus and the Bears. That's What what if they'd have taken somebody from New England? Well, that has not always borne fruit, <laughs> right? How's that working out for the Raiders? Right no, now? I'm, yeah. I'm messing with Max about the whole Belichick tree and all of those sort of things. Yeah. So that's why I was like, well, that's why I'm team? happy about taking it from Buffalo right now. I don't, I'm not trying to touch New England right now. I like but Josh McDaniels key. I mean, like, you know, it, it is what it is. Track record speaks for itself. Well, yeah, but I mean, just the front office. They, look, Brandon Bean's done a tremendous job. Um, he learned under Marty Herney. In Carolina, he took some of those same principles and brought them 
to Buffalo, and then Joe Shane obviously follows, and now he's bringing some of those same things to New York and the Giants and Brian Dable. I, I think the Giants, and I, well, honestly, you know, I'll tell you if they would, if they would a sorry football team. What about I what think Jay said? Developing football. What, forget team. about. But again, like let's put, put personnel aside because that's going to change over time. They're yeah. going to get another quarterback. But it's all about things. how you. But even though it's changing over time, Max, it's all about how you structure things. Yeah, and the structure's getting into place. The foundation, and I know you hate Gettleman. Yeah. I, I know you hate him. Yeah, but he laid the concrete. Ugh. He, he laid the concrete. No, he didn't. We're building. They got. They got to re- re- restructure con- everything. You can't. They got to break up the, the concrete. offense alignment that they selected or just hot garbage. Well, no, Andrew yeah. Thomas. He picked. He picked like top five in the draft or top but seven see, in the draft every, for eight straight years, dude, whatever it is. Yeah, he got one guy. Matter. He got a guy left tackle. Good for him. It, By the way, that's that's, that's, that's actually a horrible pick. Position. It's a horrible pick. Justin Herbert was was oh, available. God. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.